Hello, 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 everyone. I, 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 I fucked it. I fucked it up. Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Trevor Avenger. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Honestly, it's been a couple weeks since I played. Uh, I do not remember quite where we left off. I'm pretty sure we finished up Dirtwater. Um, but I'm going to do some looking around and make sure that everything is kosher. And then we will be on our way. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I had to give her the proof of the uh, bounty that we just did. That's, yep, that's the tattooed tooth of the leader of the stripy hat gang. All right, I'd recognize it anywhere. Thanks. Thanks a bundle for that meat. Uh, skill level up. Hey. Oh, what what happened to you, bud? You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? <laughs> no, it's just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. <laughs> uh, good nutrition can be difficult to find this day and age. I'm going to need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Of course. Thank you. There's a mission up north. The nuns there run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you get me some broken leg pills? <laughs> broken leg pills. Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> the doc comes up. Yeah, that's a thing. Don't have any with me. Sorry. Huh. So we're going to go to the old mission. I know I'm going out of, like, order. But uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to... We're just gonna go out of order. I gotta stop clicking away. I gotta stop clicking away. Old mission it is. It just seems like that's gonna be the easiest thing to do. Find an abandoned crate which has mine stuff stenciled on the side, which is the worst grammar you've ever seen, even in a time and place notable for its poor grammar. Open it up with your crowbar, of course. You pry the lid off the crate and help yourself to the contents, which is now your stuff, which are now your stuff. A can of kerosene and smelling salts. Get back on the trail. God, that is a long. Oh, I forgot. Forgot about epic music. Forgot about it. That I, I, I didn't see it coming. All right. So while you drink, we're going to head in here, I guess. Hello, nuns. I am the second coming. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down, okay? What happened? Our holy relics, the saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took to take them back. Wow. I don't know what to, I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? To start, take a deep breath and try to calm down, okay? What's your name? I, I'm Sister Mary. My name's Floydy. Now, <laughs> keep, keep a serious face. Now, what's this about saints? Our missions are, mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It is my specific job to look after them. Wait. Do they call you Memento Met? She, <laughs> she shows you the ruler she keeps tucked under her sleeve, or in her sleeve. No, they do not. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. So what happened? The saints, oh, it's too horrible. They just, they just came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if they aren't recovered before the cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh oh, how much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so it's probably not all that urgent, but still. All right, all right, I'll get them back for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous too. Uh, I mean, probably. But if black magic brought them back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear, the Cardinal's going to want to have a very long talk about this. But go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. Alright, this is all there is here. So for now, we'll, uh, we'll go to the rest. But I know where this gang is now, so we're going to do that. Oh, there's a crate lying in the dust of the trail. It has a pickaxe stenciled on the side, but it isn't clear if it's to indicate context, destination, or opening instruction. Open it up. Probably lit off uh, the crate with your crowbar, so that's one of the possibilities eliminated. You got an item sulfur match. You got an item thermos of spiked coffee. Patent emetic. Patent emetic? I don't know. Blood building tonic. Get back on the trail. All right. A bar. This is. We're going to a bar now, and then. Real jail? Is this all... A guy shouts, visiting hours are over, no entry. So can I... Bars closed for piano repair. Uh-huh. Non-fake horse sales. Oh. Guy shouts... Wait, what? Wait, what? Hostler, leave me alone. No, no. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back. I'm chasing you for a reason, woman. All right. Non-fake horse sales. Is this all, like, fake? Fake. <laughs> 
<laughs> Genuine TNT and sandwiches. Town hall for an actual town. Don't go in there. That house is haunted. <laughs> it runs up no entry. The bandit looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. Did you look near the bar? Oh, good idea. I'll look there. Let him go. Okay. W was I supposed to do something special there? What do I do? What's beyond here? You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse has a back door. Oh, we, we are leaving through the back door. Oh, it's all backwards. Oh my god, no! It is all fake. That is... Okay, that's funny. Hefty load. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ouch. Okay. So, can I blow the TNT? What does that do? Does that get rid of the gang? This doesn't seem safe at all. Do it. Do it. Do it. Fucking do it. Alright, fine. Howdy, Alice. We're getting near Fort All Dead. I've heard there's serious necromantic activity there. We should take a look. It sounds pretty sinister. What is it? Well, pretty much just what it sounds like. It's an old army fort where all the soldiers died, except rumor is they're still walking around in there. Did they name it Fort All Dead because they all died? No, originally it was called Fort Just Fine. <laughs> all right, what do you think we should do next? Uh, well, if you're looking to find out later, then all right, makes sense. Well, for now, we'll leave this alone because I don't have a way to do anything so I'm glad we looked at that so let's go to the railroad now the railroad camp a wave of heat hits you from behind you turn around to see a hell caps uh, pawning the ground and uh, pawing the ground and eyeing you with ill intent in its dead black demonic eyes uh, run up run, run run away run away I didn't want to fight that for whatever reason manifest this all right let's see what they have to say mommy are we there yet please shut up dear <laughs> oh this guy should never be put in charge of a switch. He's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. Ask him where he got it. Say, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? Uh, I bought it from this gal what runs a store out of here named Button Willow. Button Willow Mc, Mc something. Oh, yeah. I know that store. Yep, real nice store, real nice watch. He goes back to filling with his watch. All right. She's not getting much track laid, but she's an expert whistler. And then, oh, oh, that just, okay. You approach a Bella... Bella Geard? Bella, Bella English that I don't know? Uh, looking man with tiny glasses. Howdy there. Who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say that fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. He points at the man next to the huge pile of rocks. Uh, pile of rocks. And if you're not being uh, charitable, then I'd say that paper-backed idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alrighty, thanks. Alright, so... Hey, buddy. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help. You want to know something? I love trains. Uh, oh. Uh, oh? Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped on it uh, like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you'll ever imagine. Uh, you want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Swell. Oh, sick. I'm the foreman. Uh, that was much faster than I anticipated. Hey! I guess I'm the boss now? The man looks you up and down. Well, now. Suppose you can't be any worse than that last clown. He extends his hand. His, he extends his hand. English, Jordan. English. Name's Smee. I'm your assistant. Smee, really? <laughs> Alright, Peter Pan. Or Captain Hook, rather. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss this, miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our paths. Uh, the surveyors say that there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it even if we had the months it take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite, a whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Sneaky little varmints. I'll get it back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up at, over at Gus, Gu, Gustav, Gust, 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 Gustavson Gulch. Gustavson. <laughs> it's a real tough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and homing your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you plan on going guns blazing. Or going go, guns blazing. You discovered the gulch. We don't need that specific dynamite though. Any you can lay your hands on would be fine. So long as there's enough of it. I lo I'll look into it. I mean, I'm gonna go there, but what about all the dynamite in that uh, that mine that was, uh, I can't remember where it was. I want to say it was this canyon. 
Maybe it wasn't. I don't I don't remember. Doc wanted to go to Fort All Dead. So for now, we'll go to Fort All Dead and fight our way through it. You see a wagon broken down by the side of the road. Well, if we're being honest, it's getting attacked by horrible monsters. Uh, it, it getting attacked by horrible monsters is probably more likely what happened than a simple mechanical failure. You dismount and investigate. Most of the easy pickings have predictably already been picked, easily. Uh, but there's still a safe in there that was presumably too heavy for the scavengers to move. I don't have safe kraken. I really gotta get that. Like, I don't want to move forward without getting safe kraken. Because, like, I, I've already encountered so many. Alright, Fort All Dead it is. Let's go. Holy mother of fuck! Um, hi! Doesn't seem to notice you. Nobody. Be beg your pardon. Pardon me. Uh, sorry about that. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Just just walking on through. Don't you worry about it. Strategy and privy. All right. Strategy. It's a giant map of the region. The table has a little model of the region on it. Toilets for skeletons? To the toilets are all very clean. Flush this one. Hey. <laughs> got it. What about this one? Flush this one. Hey. <laughs> It's a toilet. The flush handle is missing, though. Oh, I gotta flush it. Flush this one, though. Take that, toilet! And then... These crates are just decorative. There's no force in the user. We're just gonna get the tarp off this crate. Alright, barracks. Ooh. Ooh, how many needles do I have? Hold on. One needle. I have one fucking needle. Do I use it? Is there any haystacks around? Uh, I don't want to do that without having many needles. Men and men and needles. Why did I do that? Oh god, I don't know what to do. There's so many. Oh, this one's open. Open it. I got three needles. Hey! Got a silver bullet and a hard tack. Open it. Got chemical bullet, full canteen, and artillery saber. Excuse you? What? Is it good? Hey, is it good though? The army in its infinite wisdom apparently decided that every soldier needed a sword, even the ones who were only good at using guns. Plus six pistol attack damage, and I'm currently using the crowbar. Five to six. Yo. Yes. Yes, do, do, do that. Do that thing. All right, perfect. That is awesome. I have an artillery saber. I have a toilet pistol. I am a badass. Consumes a needle. All right, military grade whiskey, silver bullet, and then uh, you got skeleton bones, skull chips, and handful of loose teeth. All right, holy mother of what? Sugared skin, creamed vulture feathers in water, cured skin, Ugh. jelly dirt in seltzer. Lie treated termites, smoked slugs, crushed chalk, brandied fish eyes. Actually, that might not be too bad. I'm fucking crazy. Never mind. Sugared rotten eggs. <coughs> oh, gross. What is this? Yo, wait, hold on. Somebody left their knapsack behind. Cryptic note about ley lines. Uh. Interesting. There's also an evil looking leather bound tome. I'm taking it. Introductory next mix. Uh, the last thing is a little diary which you decide to leave in there in case the owner comes back looking for it. I'm reading it. it seems to have been written by one of the Necromancer's cultists. He and several others were uh, reanimating the dead soldiers here on the theory that the best undead army would be a literal undead army. Not a bad choice. Uh, the hitch in their plan came when they raised the officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. The last entry suggests that the author and his cohorts were planning on abandoning their station and reporting back to a necromancer, but the entry ends abruptly in the middle of a sentence. Fascinating. No name, no name. There's a patch of pepperoni. I don't have forage in. This mass grave is absolutely teeming with those skeletal riflemen. They don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in there if you're itching for a fight. There's one wandering in the end of the pit nearest you. Hop in. Uh, holy shit. Do you see this bottom row here? Oh my lord. Melee and guns is not my strong suit. I have to remember that. I am not a warrior. Lava fava his ass. All right. And then blast his ass. God damn it. He should be dead now. But just in case I wanted to heal myself. That wasn't too bad. Alice surveys the scene and jests some notes down in a little notebook. 
Hooray! Bean shield level two. Sweet. Whatever that means. Does that mean I can just keep grinding? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Just hold on. Oh, it's like it increases by one enemy each. Oh god, that's not good. Blast them. Uh, heal his ass. All right, blast you. Heal me. Blast you. Heal me. And then blast him. Dead. D-E-D -E -D fucking dead. Alice picks up a bone and examines carefully. Her eyes light up. Evidently, she's had an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. Way to go. All right. So, I don't know if I can handle another fight. To be honest. Well, I didn't level up yet. God. This is going to be difficult as hell. Alice will instantly destroy a skeleton? Oh. I'll fucking do it. Dead. Fuck. Uh, I don't have anything to heal me because I'm an idiot. Alright. Fuck. Fuck. I got more angry. Oh, I'm anger level 2. Oh no. If it gets higher than 2. Oh no. Oh no. But I gotta win. I'm gotta win. Holy goddamn. Yeah, this is a little intense. Uh, we have to do something about this immediately. Any ideas? Well, only way I can think of to get rid of all of these things all at once would be to poison them somehow. That isn't very doctorly. What? You've never heard of vaccination? Oh! Look, would you rather fight an army of skeletons all at once or find a way to slip something into their food disp uh, food supply nice and quiet like? Hmm. So what do we do? Oh! Skeleton spore, whatever that is. I found that in the toilet that I couldn't flush. I shouldn't have skipped it. I feel like a kind of an idiot. Oh, what's this? So a little metal pin on the floor here. Got a rifleman insignia pin. What use is that? Plus three pistol attack damage. Yo, what's on my lapel right now? Uh, smoke, smoking chrysanthemum. I thought, I thought Doc Alice would tell me what to, what the fuck to do. All right, I'm gonna go back to the mess hall and see if I missed anything. Um. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shelves laden with skeleton army's food supply. Taint it with waste? You sprinkle waste all over the food. If this works by tomorrow, there should be no more. Take your leave. Yo, uh, okay. Am I forgetting anything? Alice tells you you should get the medicine from the rescue mission up north and take it to that guy with a broken leg. Ask for another suggestion. Take care of the house in the desert bandits. Alice reminds you that those nuns in the old mission, that's all the suggestions she can think of. Okay, cool, cool. That is useful, actually. Oh, God. Hello. Hi, hello, being a mayor, welcome. Uh, now going away, please. The goblin seems friendly, but blocks your entry to the gulch. Talk to the goblin in goblin tongue. Can I not come? Can I not coming in? Sorry, only for goblins being very private. Outthink him. This is not very nice. Don't you want to fostering better of human goblin relations? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could be I could be a new human ambassador and you go to human town uh, being their goblin ambassador guessing that might be a good idea diplomatics yes okay the mayor shakes your hand and starts walking toward dirt water ooh I hope that goes okay all right oh geez you hear quiet rustling through a sing though a single goblin were rummaging through a cape crate filled with straw I don't need to fight I'm the ambassador you listen at the door it's quiet the shack is filled with crude bookshelves. The bookshelves, in turn, are filled with crude books. Three titles catch your attention. So very complicated numbers. How to bird noise. Alice going into a seeing glass. Ooh, Alice going into a seeing glass. This popular children's novel has been translated into Goblin. Jabberwocky still reads pretty much the same. Oh, it brillig being and toves of slithing did in a wave gyring and also gimboling. Browse more. So very complicated numbers. Me too. All you can tell about this book is that it concerns extremely high-level mathematics. You don't have the vocabulary to understand any of it, and I probably still wouldn't even if it was written in English. Your brother would probably love it. Browse more. How to bird noises. This book is an extremely detailed uh, treatise on the sounds that different birds make. Uh, you probably wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate, great-crested grieve impression from a book, but that's how detailed it is. 
All right, that's all of them, right? Okay. You listen at the door, but don't hear anything inside. Rats. Looks like the door is locked. I have a needle. Aha. You make short work of the lock. Head inside. Got three goblin sandwiches. Uh, you enter what turns out to be a delicatessen and help yourself. All right. Nice. So I just broke into a business. There's no sounds coming inside. The shack is filled with thousands of tiny cabinets, each labeled with a number in goblin. Uh, look in a random drawer. Oh, look, look in a more random drawer or look in an even randomer drawer. Yep, ran the randomer drawer. You got a gulch goblin plot. Keep looking. The more random door. I got another goblin sandwich and then look in the random drawer. You got goblin trousers. Uh, I think that's all, right? Can I keep looking? Nothing else. All right, quit looking. Next house. Uh, you hear a couple of goblins wrestling around in there. Sounds like they're doing something really important. Nope, we're going to ignore that and move on for now. Nothing inside. The shack contains a bed and a desk. Investigate the desk. The desk is strewn with folders. You notice that it says important secrets on it. Read the important secrets. You learn a variety of secrets. Though the only one that's actually pertinent to your circumstances is that there's a spare key to the treasure cave in drawer 69105. 69105, 69105, 69105. I can remember that. In the storage hut. Nice. You press your ear to the door and hear somebody delivering what sounds like lines from Hamlet, except in goblin tongue. From this vantage point, you also notice a sign next to this door reading, backstage entrance, hear it being, with an arrow pointing to the back of the building. All right, let's head backstage. You sneak backstage and watch a play from behind the curtain. Not only is it a goblin version of Hamlet, it's also been rewritten as a one-man show. <laughs> to being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it better to thinking to suffering a crazy things in arrows or fighting so many bad things for stopping them because fighting to dying to sleeping to sleeping? Hey, dreaming maybe, but oh problems <laughs> problems if dreaming crazy when living what dreams having after dying? Wow, pretty weird probably. Oh God. Oh, you watch for a while. The bits where the actor has to do a sword fight with themselves is pretty entertaining. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Sadly, the door is locked. Treasure cave. This door to remaining locked at all times in Goblin. <sighs> Just work my way backwards. Let's go. All right. Head in guns blazing. Got the jump on him. Oh, man. I feel bad. Oh, damn. Damn. No. Damn it. Okay. Okay. So he's poisoned and he's whiffing it. He's whiffing it. Stench, bitch. All right, whiff it. Yeah. Why am I invincible to that? Is it because I'm angry? Is that what it is? Dead. Poison. And also dead. Oh, gosh. That was so freaking difficult, like in my brain. Yeah, there's the treasure cave key. So I don't have to fight all of them? Okay. Well, that's that makes life easy. 69105 was the key, the code, right? Oh, sh mother of fuck. What? This goblin is paying more attention to their book goblet than to you, but you're pretty sure you aren't just gonna go you aren't gonna just be waltzing on by. Spoil the ending. Hey, goblet, good book. What do you think about how Gratio is only surviving one at the end? Everyone else, everyone else dying, poisoning, sorting, bat, pow, blam. Ah, no, wow, spoilers. The guard runs out of the cave with their hands over their ears. All right, next one. All right. This goblin guard is whittling a little wooden bird call, but they're not too busy to beat you up if you get past them. Try out my new bird call skills. You duck behind a stal stalagmite and do your great crested grieve impression. Oh, gasp! A great crested gre uh, grieve! Wow! The guard pulls a pair of binoculars out of his uniform and runs out of the cave. Yeehaw! Moxie's level 5. Uh, oh, I have to fight him. Unlike the other two guards, this one is just being very attentive and seems very suspicious of you. Also, unlike the other two guards, they have a name tag that says Gene. Okay, Gene. Um, wow, I can't do shit to him except for with this gun. Does my fight? Oh, my fire! My fire damage is pretty, pretty significant. Boom. Damn. Okay. Uh. Uh. All right, he dead. Whew. Damn, Alice is getting her ass handed to her. I am not focusing enough on her or something. It's a rare and valuable treasure chest cactus. Pick the lock, requires a needle. These things are pointy, open it. You gain 1,225 meat, okay. Uh, this one looks heavy as well as pointy, open it. Contains the entire year's supply of dynamite, nice. All right, and then this one. I need a needle, oh, I need two needles. 
needles. There's no haystacks here. It's all fucking cacti. Are there any haystacks here? Oh, what is this? You find a flyer for a dynamite store up north. It's charred around the edges like it got blown here by an explosion. You mark the address on your map. You discover a new map location. Dynamite Dan's Discount Dynamite Dare House. All right. Actually, no, we're going to go there now because we need dynamite. And I got monies. Another year's supply of dynamite for 5000 or just a bunch? Yeah, I'm just going to buy all of that for me. Just personally. A year's supply of dynamite for five grand is not that bad because you would be able to skip an entire part of the game. That is super interesting that you could do that. Like, just by chance. Alright, bye dynamite, Dan. We outie. Back to Snake Spring. I'm looking for a needle. What is this? You recognize the familiar shape of mine shaft entrance off in the distance. You discover a new map location. Coal Ridge Mine. Alright, we're going there now. Just completely in the opposite direction. <laughs> Alright. Goodness. Me and me and caves don't usually do too hot, but <gasps> lockers? Lockpick? Do I need a lockpick? Oh no, I don't. There's a row of lockers here. Must have been used for storing the personal effects of fellers who used to work in the, this mine. The first one is labeled Ellsbury WM and doesn't have a lock on it. The label on the second one is covered by some sort of white goo. Uh, the third one is labeled Loose Ben uh, and it has a combination lock on it. So the first one is unlocked. It contains a helmet and laudanum. The other... Nope. Can I only open one? Open the second locker. Because it says it's just covered in white goo. You open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the outside of the locker. Ah, you get it. This guy must have died after his co-workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into his locker and then filled it with shaving cream. Uh, I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yells the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his vengeful murderous intent. Get ready for a fight. Oh my god, he looks horrible. All right, target, a shaving cream co covered skeleton. All right, uh, what does the most damage to you? My gun. And then just fire on. Oh, I can dismantle him. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. He's a... These skeleton fights, when it's just one of them, is going to be easy peasy. You got a skeleton, bone, skull chips, and a handful of loose teeth. Hooray! Was there anything in that locker or just him? All right, so I need to come back with a lock pick. Wait, what does it say when I actually click on it, though? Open the third locker. There's a combination lock and you don't know the combo. Is it 69105? That's the only combo I, I, I know. All right, so no, no needles there, but we got some adventuring done. Snake Spring. Why why would there be haystacks here? Why would I think there Mother of God, no! 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 What the living fuck is this? Oh my god. An endless stream of snake pours out of a hole in the canyon. Grab a handful. Let's just go. Let's just fucking go, man. Alright. Easy PC. Muscle level five, snake spleen, and snake spleen. Hooray! So I how many times can I fucking do that? I can just Wow. I like how easy the game makes it to grind because some RPGs, it is just ridiculous to do. Um, so no, no needles there. Where else would there be needles? Uh, let's go to Button Willow's store. Find a pair of saddle bags slung over a tree branch. Stenciled letters on the side read "Property of Fort All Dead Library." Dig through the bra bags. The bag is full of books, mostly boring military field manuals. You do find one spe of specific interest to you: Advanced Beancraft Volume 15. Continue on. We're going to read that book. Read this to learn a new bean slinging skill. All right. This includes a chapter on a... Okay. Includes a chapter about making human-sized or larger automatons and binding them to your will to help with kitchen tasks. Gives bean golem a combat skill which summons a powerful golem to fight for you. There's a poem scribbled into the margins whose words keep shifting and changing. Gives uncanny presence, a perk that provides resistance against elemental damage. There's a whole set of recipes for ice bean-based desserts gives great northern blizzard a spell that deals cold damage to all of your enemies Ooh, i'm going between oh i want bean golem bean golem's fucking dope that's so cool unfortunately one of your early experiments gets a little rowdy and eats the book bad bad golem all right all right do you have any needles i don't remember oh there was another book i needed to read hold on next mex gives you the grinning skull skill uh, the 
black covered book written in black ink on black paper is a primer in the arts of southern southwestern necromancy otherwise known as nexmax what is the grin and skull skill Ooh, this seems like it's pretty dangerous are you sure you want to read it oh no yeah i'm reading it it's your funeral whatever grandma Cannot see the words on the pages, but you nevertheless read them. Your mind becomes stained with grim secrets. You got a skill, grin and skull. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. Spooky. What does grinning skull do? Oh, I'm just gonna leave. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Anyway, I do want binoculars. There's an advanced bean craft book. Uh, mind your meat. Uh, gives you the dickering skill. Oh, it's so much money though. And needles. Okay, needles first. Two needles. Ooh, a length of rope. Uh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Whatever buffs me up, cause I can get I can get more um stuff. I can get more money later. Meat later. All right, let's read some books. Advanced screen craft again. Volume fifteen. Same same book. All right, reading it. Uh, Great Northern Blizzard. Bean Wall or butter bean. Um, so there's a whole set of recipes for ice cold bean based desserts. I think I want the Northern Blizzard, but there's a recipe for a, a wall shaped pile of beans that looks pretty interesting. Um, there's an article about butter and an article about beans and the juxtap- yeah, we've seen that before. So I think I'm gonna go with Great Northern Blizzard because then I'll have fire and cold damage or hot and cold damage. And then I already have the bean shield and I'm sure I can learn bean wall later. All right, so we got Great Northern Blizzard. Unfortunately, at some point, the book got completely covered in a snowdrift, and now it's all soggy and ruined. Aw, oh, mind your meat. This book is a guide to making the most of your meat by getting the best possible deal on every single thing you buy. Gives you the dickering skill. Okay, that's actually going to be super helpful. Oh, okay. Sweet. Uh, after you're done reading it, you use your newfound skills to pawn it off on a wide-eyed roof for 60 meat. Done and done. Wipe my hands of it. Right, we're going back to Coal Ridge Mine to do that shit. All right, uh, wave hit, hit, of heat hits you from behind. Hellcalf, all right, charge it. All right, let's test out some of our new skills. I want to see this bean golem. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. Um, and then this, spooky damage is what I got. Oh shit. What? Hey, all right, uh... Wow, that's actually super useful. I thought, okay, we are we are buffed the hell out. All right, good stuff. Uh, the rope, the rope. Tie a rope to the crossbeam and climb down. There we go. That's why I wanted to come back. It's because I had the rope, uh, and then the two lock picks are for later. These stones have little what triangles painted on them. They're they're in a triangle. It's it's very triangle. That's odd. Okay. Do I need another rope? Oh, no, I don't. What's this? You don't like this. No, I really fucking don't. Oh, where? what am I doing? Loot it anyway. Take the fluid. You want to stop looking at this spiral right now. Reach inside the slit. It goes in further than you expected. It's warm. Keep going. You're up to the shoulder when you feel it. A beating heart. Rip it out. And it's a meat nugget. All right. Look through this cart. And then take this pick. Oh, thank goodness, I could get a pickaxe. And then, all right, so I got a pickaxe. I don't like it for whatever reason. So can I use a pickaxe on these? I can't, oh no, that's it. Can I do it again? Oh, I can, okay, sweet. Mine it, I can, oh, that's cool. All right, cool, we get, we get meat. We get loaded, mine it, yeah, climb up. Mine it. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So we're going to have to come back with that combination unless I missed the combination in here. Which I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Oh, fuck. Maybe it... All right. You know what? I can't leave this unfinished because this is all this is here for. All right. I, I didn't find shit. So we're going to head back to um, the railroad because I have, um, I have all that dynamite now. 
Before you can react to the sudden howling, a ghost train surges over a hill and roars past just missing you. Three skeleton train robbers arrive just behind it and barely avoid colliding with you by pulling back hard on their reins. The train vanishes in the distance and the robbers seem really annoyed by your interference. Oh, oh. Do they now? Do they? Because I have a bean golem. And I have a bean shield. And I can I can light them on fire. Yeah. Bitch. And then I also have a saw. Ooh. Ooh. Seven damage. Seven damage. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so worried. Am I getting too arrogant? I think I'm getting too arrogant. <laughs> Any luck finding a year's supply of dynamite? The passengers are getting restless. Yep, here you go. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges, and I'll let you do the honors. Me consults with the other workers, and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks, and up next to the rocks, and wires up a detonator. All right, let her rip. Wait, uh, you, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger, so I have time to get out of the train. Great. All right, do it. Mr. Fayez didn't say anything about a crazy rock monster. Quick, you're the protagonist. Do something about it. All right. All right. I, 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 what do you say? What the holy fuck? Uh, all right. Let's go. Alice, we got shit to do, I think. I think. I think. There's a very large and very angry looking thing guy standing here. Apparently, it's a little peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. How are you going to handle this? Oh god, I can do so much different stuff. Okay, um, well, we're gonna run away for now, and I'm not gonna do this boss fight yet. I think that'll be much later down the road. Uh, what happens if I just fucking wander aimlessly? Discovered a destroyed campsite. Go there now. Why is it the train moving? <laughs> I hear that from all the way over here. <laughs> Knapsack seems like it's taken a lot of, of abuse recently. Search it. You got potted meat. The, naps, the knapsack seems like it's taken a lot of abuse recently. Most of the contents are trashed from being stomped on. You do find a dented can of potted meat, though. You also notice that the knapsack has a knife sheath strapped to the side, but you don't see the knife anywhere. All right. Cool. Um, the tent is a real mess. It looks like it was trampled by a whole herd of cows. There's something odd about it, though. All right. The campfire has been thoroughly stomped out on and kick someone was real serious about fire safety you think maybe this used to be a person i do uh diagnostic do doc uh cause of death hit by a freight train the only tracks i see are cow tracks could have been cows i suppose there's a leg missing though cows aren't meat eaters well neither are trains okay uh there are cow tracks leading away from the mangled corpse it probably wouldn't be hard to follow them all right follow the tracks you follow the cow, cow tracks for a hundred yards or so, after which they stop suddenly. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest nearby. Well, darn. Uh, we're gonna wander some more. Discovered the big apple. You spot an astonishing large horse apple in the distance. You are literally astonished by the size of it. It is very large. Go there now. Why the hell not? As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal-sized horses acting collaboratively? They... They should have sent a poet. <laughs> yeah, they should have. Oh my god. Clean it up? Ugh. I'm just gonna clean it all up. Clean it all up. Get it all out there. Oh my god. That was cool. That guitar part was so fucking dope. Hey Ray, you did it. It's clean. Is that literally it? There's literally just a dung pile on the map? Alright. I guess I can't be too bothered by that. Let's go to the rescue mission and get fix that guy's leg finally. Um... In a devastated cord field off to the side of the trail, you see a similarly devastated scarecrow. Its shirt is untucked, its hat is knocked off, and don't even get me started on the state of its ascot. Don't even get me started, okay? Okay? Sigh wistfully and ride on, because I can't do anything. All right, this is the rescue mission. So you got some medicines. Gosh, a real-life nun. We already saw one. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Floydie McFloydie Floyd. What's with the cots? 
Well, what with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also sell medical supplies if you like your healing to go. Do you need any errands or anything? Can I buy some medical supplies or leave them alone? Do you need any errands done? Funny you should ask. I've been experimenting with the healing properties of a purple grass that grows near here, but I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. <sighs> That's gonna turn into something. I fucking know it. Alright, no problem. I'll be back. Alright, Mr. Leg Broken Man. Where we, this is where we started the episode, and it's where we're going to end it. Oh, hello. Were you able to get some broken leg pills without them? I'm just stuck lying in the street. Yep, here you go. Ooh, thanks. I feel like a new man again, or at least the same man with a new leg. That's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? He waves and skips happily away. Well, that was nice. And that is where we end this episode. There was a lot of... It was a lot of multitasking. It's a lot of stuff going on. We have a golem to take care of. Uh, we learned a lot of new skills. This was a very productive episode. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of my face on a regular basis. Ring that bell to know when I upload because it's going to be start, starting to get ramped up here in a little bit. And I will see you guys in the next video.